Hello everyone, my name is Yulia and you are watching You Multicultural Community Hour. We have another awesome guest in the show today, Ali Magji and Fadi Mukhaber. They will tell us about the recently opened innovative concept of workspace in our community for people building their beauty business. Ali and Fadi will convince us that starting your own business has never been easier. If that sounds exciting and interesting and you want to grow and thrive as a business owner, just keep watching the interview until the very end. Hello, Ali and Fadi. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate that. We absolutely do. Thank you. Before we talk about your contribution to our community and your help to start <coughs> other people to grow their business, I want to know your story. I know that you both have a fascinating background. So for listeners who may not be familiar with you, can you please tell us about your journey to coming to Canada? So Ali, let's start with you. So my family came to Canada in the 1980s. Um, I was born in Africa, in Nairobi, Kenya. My family had several businesses in Africa, and uh, during nationalization uh, in Africa, um, we were unfortunately uh, asked to leave Africa. Mm -hmm. Canada welcomed us with open arms, and uh, with that, uh, my family moved to Edmonton. I was a young child. Um, and I remember the hardships and struggles that uh, my parents went through and I went through um, as immigrants uh, in a new country. Um, the difficulties and the uh, adversities that are required to overcome um, you're in a new country mm -hmm. with a new language, with a new culture. Um, even the light switch is different. You know, in Africa, uh, you don't turn the light switch up, you turn it down to, st to turn on the light. It's, so it's, it's, it, everything is upside down. Right. Winters are different, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, um, but it's also exciting. And with and with all of that adversity comes opportunity. So uh, my family um, started a, a, a business in Edmonton, mm -hmm. uh, a motel business in Edmonton, and uh, through hard work and uh, through uh, education, um, you know, my brother and I both uh, ended up taking over the business as we grew older. And uh, we, uh, we owned uh, Hilton Hotels and Marriott Hotels um, in, in Edmonton. So cool. uh, we owned uh, quite a few of them. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it's, a, it's a very, uh, it's a, it's a good feel-good story. And um, well, I'm excited to share it with you. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. And Fadi, what about you? Um, I have the same, very similar to Ali's story, where um, my family came here in um, 1981 where my background is Lebanese. Mm -hmm. uh, during the invasion, um, Israeli invasion in 81, um, my, my father wanted to take us to a safer country, somewhere safe, so he had a relative in Edmonton, so of course you go where your friends and relatives are. Um, language was a, definitely a struggle for them, um, same as us. We were French educated, uh, spoke Arabic as a first language, came here, we didn't know nothing. Um, the challenges were definitely um, a struggle at the beginning. Having a name like Fatty was also a struggle for me because, you know, kids are mean. <laughs> they kind of like, mm -hmm. I, so I always got the Fatty, Fatty 2 by 4 you know. I got picked on. I got bullied as a kid. But I believe that that made me stronger and it gave mm -hmm. me that First. personality that I have right now. So I'm, I'm open, I'm friendly, as you know. I talk to everybody. Um, and. Um, I love helping, you know, people coming to Canada because I went through these struggles. So that's my story. So now you want to help other people to grow their business, right? Absolutely. Particularly chose Winnipeg. Uh, uh, there's several reasons for it, but we one of the things that we wanted to do in this particular community is allow individual business owners that are looking to open their business and that are thinking about whether they should or not, or immigrants that are coming here, you know, it, it's very difficult to take that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. um, in our new space, you have us as business mentors. So when you're opening up your, your, your space, your location, um, uh, we help guide you. We're like a uh, we sit, we stand beside you. We're not in your business, but we stand beside you to give business mentorship. Um, because uh, we find that if you can allow people to um, uh, take that first step to, to help them succeed, to give them advice, um, there's a lot more uh, ability to, for them to grow in the future. 
So we actually sit down with people and, and look at their plans and assess what they want to do, and we we help them grow in into what they what they want to be. Yeah, you both put a lot of effort into creating something unique for our community. A lot of people, a lot of immigrants, really struggle with employment, and yes. sometimes even professionals have to work in survival job, but they have like top skills, and with your help, they can just start to work very quickly. Absolutely, and that was one of the challenges that I had when I, you know, I was young, then I grew up in Edmonton, went to school. My parents couldn't stand the weather, so they, every time there was peace, they would go back to Lebanon. And being a teenager, I just wanted to stay here because this is where my friends are. I, I kind of grew my friendship with people here, and Edmonton felt like home, so I, um, I decided to stay by myself. Mm -hmm. And that was very challenging because went to school, finished college, and I just didn't know where to go after that because I was, you know, I had a degree, but I couldn't find a job. It was in the 80s. We had a uh, big recession back then. There was, interest rates were so high. So I um, I started working in restaurants just to mm -hmm. kind of, you know, I, my first job was at A&W to kind of, you know, flip burgers. And I went to school for interior design. So I totally understand where people come from when you have a degree and you're coming here and you have to work at Starbucks or you have to go work in, you know, at Tim Hortons. So that those challenges are have a special spot in my heart because I know what it takes to move up and take that first step of, you know, the leap of faith that puts you to take that step. You need the support, you need the mm -hmm. gut, and <clears throat> now we are here to provide that. And that's why, you know, that's what we want to do. We're like, okay, we can do this. Let's do it. Let's help people. We've been successful in our businesses, and we have the knowledge and resources, and we want to be able to share that with people. We want to be able to help, you know, immigrants and, and, and people that are, are looking to be successful actually make it happen, and, and we want to share that with them. Yeah, it's cool because when you just start your business, you don't know how to grow. You don't know where to get new clients. Correct. Do you charge for the information you share? No. With your renters? No, we don't charge at all. Um, you know, you rent the space, you're part of our family, you're part of our village. And, uh, and you know, we, we our, uh, our knowledge and our experience is something that is uh, an invaluable intangible that you get as, as soon as you come into our space. Um, you know, we've already ha seen a lot of success uh, with uh, individuals that, that have rented. For instance, we have a hairstylist who moved in on February the 15th when we first opened. Uh, she had a single space studio. Uh, we sat down with her, we mm -hmm. uh, spoke with her about her future goals, and, uh, and she wanted to grow, but she didn't know how. She, you know, she wanted to make more money, but she didn't have the, an idea of what she needed to do. So she wanted to hire someone, um, she didn't know how, so we looked at, okay, this is the type of post you require, this is how to, uh, you know, advertise it, and we, we looked over her resumes even, and, you know, this is how you get someone else to come into your studio. And she moved from a single studio to a triple studio within only a month and a half. And, uh, and she's doing, she's flourishing, and we expect to see more people uh, that come into our studio that want to grow and expand and, and eventually, you know, have, have, you know, more and more people working for them. It's very unique uh, that you provide them a help for free and you guide them from a point A to point B and they can grow with you. It is really special. This is the type of mentorship that, you know, is only accessible if you, if you, if you were to pay for something like that. Um, and with us, because they're a part of our family, part of our village, uh, we provide that at no extra cost whatsoever. Cool. And when we talk about starting your own business, it's always about the risk. Right? But the higher the risk, the higher the potential reward. Uh, Fede, I have a question to you. What are the benefits of self-employment? So I started my first business at 24 years old. And I, like I said to you, my first job was working at A&W, flipping burgers. And I got tired of working, you know, bouncing from one job to the other in the restaurant industry. And I um, decided to go on my own. And I researched it. I looked at uh, government guaranteed business loans. Um, I needed support, so I had a relative who was, you know, kind of gave me that um, motivation that I have right now. Because I look back and I'm like, if it wasn't for him helping me, nobody would have helped me. So he introduced me to a uh, bank manager. Mm -hmm. um, I was buying a, a burger brand at the time. It was a hamburger joint that just basically I'm selling hamburgers. Um, 
the price of that business was $45,000. That was back in 1992. And I only had $3,000 saved. So I didn't have the money to, to take that step. Um, the bank manager wanted me to have a personal guarantee, but she said, she looked at me, she, she goes, you're only 24 years old. Mm -hmm. I can't give you a loan. You know, you don't have experience. You don't have the backup. You don't have any equity, so I can't really help you. So my response to her was like, I'm giving you my personal guarantee. I'm giving you me, and I'm, I'm like, I basically, I'm willing to do this. I've been running restaurants or working restaurants throughout college. I finished my degree, and I'm committing myself to this. So my cousin is willing to co-sign for me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I like your attitude. And I think that you have a very strong mind. I'm going to give you that loan. And that was the beginning of my success. And I grew into having three restaurants. I um, had um, a few businesses after that. I got into investing in real estate. And that's Ali and I met when I got into the beauty business. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, very coincidental, a business uh, event. And uh, we hit it off. We've been friends for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's why we kind of feed off each other, and we felt like this is let's do something that's going to be helping people. Yeah, and, and I mean the benefits, you know, of, of being a, an individual business owner mm -hmm. is that that you are independent. I think that's the biggest thing. You set your own hours. Um, you're allowed to sell the product that you want to sell. No one is telling you um, how to do things. Um, you can create a brand. You can create a service level that you're comfortable with. One that's not, you know, uh, you don't have to adhere to by set by somebody mm -hmm. else. I think that's the biggest thing is independence. You know, um, we all have busy lives nowadays. Things change. Things can, can become fluid. Um, if you don't want to work on a Tuesday, you know, you don't work on a Tuesday. If you don't want to work on a Friday, you don't work on a Friday. Because those are the hours that you set. Being independent, being a small business owner, the benefits are that you're able to manage your success. You can be as successful as you want. You can work seven days a week, 24 seven if you choose, or you can work se selective days because let's say you have a family at home and you need to you know, be able to provide. Mm -hmm. I need to pick up my child from school and that's important to me. You get to set those hours. And I think that's, that's invaluable at the end of the day. Having us be there to help guide you um, and look at your numbers and talk to you. You get different ideas of how to supplement income and do different things so you can actually do those right. important things. You can go on vacation, you can do those things, right? So it's important to, mm -hmm. to be able to have that. Mm -hmm. And to add to that is like, you know, to answer your, que your question to me was, you know, what are the risks of starting, you know, your own business? Mm -hmm. um, surround yourself with the right people. Mm. That is the biggest risk. Because we're all afraid, not everybody can do accounting. Right. Not everybody could do, like I'm a hairstylist, for example. I know how to do hair. I don't mm -hmm. know how to run the business. I don't know how to, you know, do my accounting. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So having the two of us mentoring you to show you how to do all those things takes away so much stress and relief off of you as an individual wanting to start your own business. So that's, hopefully that's a better answer. Yeah, and the point that you have, you can start your own business with minimum investment, it also sounds really attractive. It is incredible. Um, I, I just don't know anywhere else where you can, you know, you have a space that's ready for you. Uh, our, our, our salon studio has 25 spaces, and you can come in, choose your space. Um, you know, it's a it's, it's, it's minimal amount of commitment, uh, and I think that's really important is that it's a minimal commitment of one year. And you don't typically have that anywhere where you want to start a business. Mm. Um, you know, typically you have to sign five years and you have to do all of these improvements. You have of all of that. Um, we're, at, we're at one fee, so you have a fixed cost, right? Those are the risks that you minimize. And, and, and it's, it's an incredible option um, with minimal amount of risk. You, you know, you spend $2,000 on a little bit of furniture and your supplies and your equipment, and you're off and running. You could come mm -hmm. in and see us today and you could start on you know, in, in, in a week, you could be fully operational. Um, and there's so many people that are so talented that don't have the space. They're working at home. They're working in their basement, in spaces that, you know, 
aren't regulated, spaces that aren't uh, that you know aren't secure, mm -hmm. perhaps, and uh, and and they're providing us uh, their their talent should be in a very professional environment, and and we that's what we've built a very professional environment for them to to flourish in. And speaking of that risk, sorry that the, the one year that you sign, you have sixty day out. So say you know in three months or six months that you can't, you're not making it. You don't feel like this is you made a mistake. This is not what you want to do. You only have sixty days that you can mm -hmm. say I can't do this. I'm doing. If our mentoring and our support, we have not have anybody. We haven't failed in any businesses we've done in the past. So we don't believe in failing. We believe in making sure that there's always two solutions to every problem. That's our belief. So success is, if you want success, you want to be out there, come and see us. How do you think this workspace will influence on people living in Winnipeg? Uh, so we, we particularly chose the exchange in the Winnipeg, mm -hmm. in Winnipeg. Um, and we chose Winnipeg for several reasons. Uh, we find Winnipeg, first of all, Winnipeg is the friendliest people I've ever seen in my I, life. I mean, yes. I, I have never experienced Absolutely. such yeah. hospitality. Um, people here are so genuine and kind. And uh, coming from, you know, uh, a, a different city, uh, coming from a different city in Canada, um, it's so nice to be able to have that genuine uh, feeling of warmth and kindness. So mm -hmm. that was a big reason that we chose to do business in Winnipeg. Also, you've got the Exchange District, which has these gorgeous buildings. And uh, and for us to be able to add value into one of those spaces was was incredible. Um, the I think that uh, having the a, a, an additional 25 businesses in the Exchange um, is going to help, help transform the area to bring, you know, um, more foot traffic to that area in, in the downtown area uh, to be able to um, create this environment where it's more vibrant mm -hmm. and hopefully that will also um, make other businesses uh, think that yes you know we want to move into that area too and make the area more vibrant and uh, and if they can do it we can do it too so you know hopefully there's there's other other businesses out there that you know, want to move into Winnipeg and want to move into this uh, this community, and we can we can share our example and and, and how successful we've been. Um, whenever we're traveling, we always speak highly of Winnipeg. We we absolutely love this city. Thank you, thank you for thank creating you. this in our community. I think this will have a positive impact on our beauty professionals' uh, lives. Absolutely, yeah. Winnipeg has uh, some of the best, the most talented stylists in the industry in Canada. I. Um, in my, I have a distribution company for beauty supplies mm -hmm. uh, that operates out of Edmonton, and I supply um, skincare products and aesthetic products to a lot of aesthetic schools all over Canada, and one of them is here in Winnipeg. So when I, Ali and I were looking at creating this concept, we looked at a city that doesn't have anything like this yet, and Edmonton, we have five of them in Edmonton, and they're very successful. They do really well. So we researched all over Canada, we took a road trip, and Winnipeg, something about Winnipeg that won our hearts, and we're like, this is it, we're gonna be here, we're gonna do this here. So it's been a great journey so far, we, um, great experience, and like Ali said, we're willing to share that with any anybody that wants to bring their own business to Winnipeg. Wow, I'm excited to see more people working in your space. Yeah, yeah. and there is, of course, a bunch of reasons and advantages of working on yourself, but let's talk about disadvantages. What are the hardest part of being self-employed? I mean, there. Anytime you're self-employed, there are going to be risks. Um, you know, uh, you have to be able to have a business acumen. You have to, you have to have a vision, um, and it's easier to. It's, it's easy to have, actually it's easy to have a vision. The execution part is the hardest. That's the biggest risk in any business. Um, having a vision is one thing, having talent is one thing. Uh, executing that vision and, that, and, and, and executing it correctly is the most difficult part. Um, that's, that's the biggest risk, I think, is that uh, n you know, not having that, the ability or know-how, the guidance. And like I said, that's what we help provide, mm -hmm. right? Um, that, that cushion, uh, not having that. Uh, it's, it's a feeling that you have inside of, of, um, of 
having a, you know, that risk, that want to do something and being able to execute it is very difficult. Being a, with, with us, we help guide you and, and, and makes you successful. And also taking that step, taking yeah, that initial step. Yeah, the first step, step a lot I of think people, the hardest. A lot of people are so scared to take that step and they just don't want to take the risk. Mm -hmm. And it's a personality thing. I think a lot of people have the personality where they want the safety, the shelter, the guarantee. The, so I encourage everybody that thinks of doing, they're having their own business, take that step. And I always say, I make money, it doesn't make me. If, mm -hmm. I, if I didn't take that first step and take that risk, I would have never gotten to where I am today. And, and when we came to Winnipeg and we told everybody that we're, you know, we're creating this concept, they, they were kind of curious about it. And uh, we told them what we're going to call it, which is the Village Salon Studios. And they said, oh, well, there's already Osborne Village and you're not there. And we said, no, it's not about that. It's called the village because it takes a village. It takes a village to do things. We all work together to make sure that each other is successful. We all work together um, because it's a community that we're providing. Um, it's, it's a village of people that want to make an environment and that's uh, culturally phenomenal, um, that where service levels exceed anywhere else, um, where you work with each other and collaborate. We have tattoo artists, hairstylists, lash artists, massage therapists, nurse practitioners, um, all in one space. It's very exciting um, and it's it's, it's completely new for Winnipeg, mm -hmm. and uh, we're excited to share it with, with the public, and it's, it's, uh, it's a very special place. One of the other things people, you know, kind of opposed us on that, not just the name, they're like, well, they're going to be competing with each other. It's like, absolutely not. It's the opposite. The story, they feed off each other. They kind of grow off each other, right. and it's been proven. In the let, we have eight tenants in there right now, and mm -hmm. they're, they're amazing. They're all gelling. They're all like, they're so, you can go and interview them. <laughs> They'll tell you how happy they are. So it's been it's Maybe been a great uh, yeah. So that everybody's so successful and happy. That's cool because you are like a self-employed, but still you are surrounded by other beauty masters, and you like support each mm. other and create own atmosphere. Correct, and, and you yeah. feed off them because you know if you're a hairstylist and I'm a lash artist, all your clients are going to be referred to me because you don't do lashes. You're going to send them to me. Mm -hmm. And it's vice versa to, for everybody else. So my lash clients are going to go to see you for hair. So it's been a great, great successful concept for us everywhere else. So we're happy that we have it in Winnipeg. What uh, sparked this bright idea mm. to create this space? This concept has been very successful in the United States for, for several years now. Um, uh, there's 650 uh, uh, of these across the United mm -hmm. States. Not, not ours. Not this. Not not our brand. Yeah. But this concept, and it's done so well. Um, uh, you know, the traditional salons. Uh, you know, during COVID, um, unfortunately, you know, uh, a lot of them couldn't make it, and that's what sparked this idea of creating a this this collaborative workspace, uh, and it's done really really well. Cool. And just to wrap up, what would be your advice to those people who are thinking about starting work for themselves but still cannot decide whether or not to take the risk? Get an advisor. Come and see us. Give us a call. We'll tell you. We'll help you out. You know, it's, information is free. Mm -hmm. All you need is to take that step. Like, get the, get the guts to do it. Don't be afraid, but get consultation. Get consultants. We have great government support here we have great um, you know advisory support from every institution that there's a lot of institutions out there that will support you and we're one of them absolutely i think that uh, you know uh, communicate start talking to people yeah. start talking to your network and uh, trust the process uh, you know uh, there will be will there be hard times evidently there will be hard times but trust the process because success comes through uh, a lot of hard work um, uh, and a lot of commitment. Um, and if you have someone helping you, gu help guide you, like Thaddy was saying, it, it becomes all the more easier. Mm -hmm. So come talk to us. Uh, like you know, said, the key is commitment. We're an open book. Come yeah. talk to us. We'll be happy to help anyone. Um, you know, if we just, it's, it's, we have a passion for helping businesses. Yeah. That's, that's what I we see. love to do. Okay, thank you so much for sh coming to the studio again and sharing and bringing this new concept in Winnipeg. Thanks, I Julia. hope this will change many people's lives. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us, Yula. 
And thank you, our audience, for joining us today. We hope you enjoy it. If you like the episode, please like, share, and subscribe to see our upcoming episodes. Thank you.